friends, I'm Abby and I'm Elise and we're the farmers at Sunny Hill Flower Farm and we're kicking off our new series overalls in Marks where we come to you every Friday night with a new topic we're going to be teaching you. So grab your beverage of choice and let's get started. So today we will be discussing how to propagate dahlias. There are many different kinds of dahlias, um, many different varieties. We'll show you a few pictures here. But what we're doing is trying to get the most bang for our buck. Because dahlias are beautiful, they're also a little expensive. So what we're gonna do is figure out a way to make more plants from the single dahlia tuber. So this is a tuber. We ordered these from Swan Island Dahlias. They're beautiful. They send great products. So this is how the tuber is shaped. Much like my body, <laughs> it's round. <laughs> <laughs> up here are the eyes this is called the neck and then this is the body of the tuber so what we did is you want to do this at the end of winter you want to wake them up so the tubers are slumbering through the winter and you need to because you have to dig them up right so last year these flowered they made these tubers as roots sort of like potatoes so you dig them out because we live in Minnesota, it's cold. It's frigid. They will freeze and you will not have any it will tubers. Die. Yes, trust me. <laughs> so, uh, you dig happen. them up and they have happened before. So, you dig them up and then you store them over winter. They can be divided, so they will multiply every year. So, you will get more and more if you store them correctly. We're trying to push it one step further <laughs> and get even more by taking cuttings and propagating them. So, what we did, because we're fancy, <laughs> we had these red solo cups lying around. So, we decided to just plant them loosely in soil. Um, and what you want to do is wake them up. So, you don't want to water them. You don't want it to be too warm. You're not putting them under grow lights, anything like that. Um, you're basically just putting them in the soil, burying them, and leaving the top part sticking out. Um, so that that light can kind of start to wake them up and activate them. These guys sat for probably two to three weeks, probably three weeks um, on a folding table in my living room <laughs> by the window. <laughs> um, there was a whole bunch of them. We also got a new dog here <laughs> who learned how to jump up on the couch and steal my potted dahlia tubers. So we have a few less than we started with, but that's okay. We still but we're propagating. So we're propagating, so it won't be a problem. Let's replace them. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Don't worry, Teddy. We still love you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these. So you want to wait for them to sprout. So these ones, if you can see, they've sprouted. And when they're about like three to four inches tall, which these are, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them with our X-Acto knife. And we've only had one sip of the marks so far, so it's okay to be using the exact Okay. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I will not be touching the knife. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a very clean cut. Um, and I want it to be very close to the edge of the tuber, right up against it. You don't want to cut the eye completely off. You don't want to cut it also too far up. Um, otherwise, it'll be hollow. It won't work. So, we're taking a chance. The other thing I have here is cloning gel. So this is Olivia's cloning gel. You can use any kind. Gel's a gel, I think. I don't know. So the other thing we have is potting soil and a 72 cell seed tray. Um, we're not gonna do them all here for you because, you know, magic of television. We'll show you at the end how they all work. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill this with soil. So what we're doing is we're just going to fill these little sections with soil. And this is just a coarse, loose soil. Um, the thing with dahlias is they can be kind of particular about water. Um, you don't want them to be too wet because they can rot. You don't want them to be too dry because they'll die. So they're a little finicky, but that's okay. So we'll just do a couple little spots here. So these are just loosely packed. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these. So here's some of our good looking little sprouts here. 
I'm just going to pull this up a little bit and find where it is on the tuber. So you can kind of see where it's right That's so cool. up here against this. So this is the sprout coming off. And I'm going to give it one clean little cut. Here, I'll open this for you. William, thank you. I'm a fabulous assistant. Yes. So I'm going to give it a clean, clean cut right there. So you can see it's not hollow. It's cut up right against the bulb there. And I'm going to give it a little dip in the rooting hormone. Yay. You so can there's also that. Get this in powder form too. Yeah. The gel is just nice because it kind of sticks to it. Yeah. Um, and then I put a little holes in each one. You know, if you're a safer person than I, <laughs> you don't have to use this brazer edge. You could use, I don't know, a skewer, a pencil, a pen, whatever. Your finger. Your finger. You want to get it all the way down. Look how beautiful that is. And just kind of put that little boy in there, just like that. So we're going to fill the whole tray with them. We're going to do another one. And then what we'll do, once this is full, this is when they're going to start really trying to grow. So we'll take these bad boys, we'll give them a little bit of water, we'll put them under the heat mat in our grow or on a heat mat and under our grow lights and kind of watch them grow. It'll take like two-ish weeks um, for them to kind of start developing roots. They may start to look like they're dying. That's okay. That's usually a sign that within the next couple days they're going to be sending out those white roots, which is great. So eventually with these little cells, it's going to fill up all with roots all along the base. Um, and then once that happens in about three weeks, we'll put them into a bigger pot and then hopefully the frost will be gone so we can plant them in the ground and they will make their own beautiful plant. We can still use the mother plant here. These tubers, we can still plant them and use them to create their own plant. So now we have an exact replica of the original tuber, which is pretty awesome. Right, so it's good for successions. It's good for our pocketbooks <laughs> because we got a twofer now. Actually, <laughs> a threefer because I'm gonna cut this guy here too. of overalls and marks brought to you by Soil Diva. Thanks for joining our first episode of overalls and marks. Like and subscribe our channel for more flower farm adventures.